Alexandra Zinchenko has been spotted at Arsenal's training camp in Orlando ahead of his £32 million move from Manchester City. Alexandra Zinchenko will sign a four-year contract with the Gunners to become Arsenal's sixth summer signing and take Arsenal spending upwards of £115 million. As we have reported for many days and for a week now, Alexandra Zinchenko will become an Arsenal player. It is yet not announced yet and he was spotted with Edu um, in the stadium as uh, photos on social media were circulating. He was seen taking selfies with fans at the, em uh, not at the Emirates, at the Orlando Camping Stadium. Um, and he will become an Arsenal player. Now, just to quickly look over the game against Orlando, we did win 3-1. It was quite a late game. The kickoff was actually de delayed quite a while um, for us in uh, for me in England. Um, it was delayed until 1.30 a.m., um, so quite a late start. And uh, Arsenal... Arsenal started well uh, with Martinelli, um, but I feel like Orlando did very well to get out of it. Arsenal pressed high. They pushed back a bit though, um, but Orlando did very well to counter-attack that. Um, but a goal from Eddie Nketiah and Gabriel Jesus, um, that combination is looking like it's firing up. Um, got Arsenal the win, and they have now won every single preseason game Arsenal, um, which is setting up quite nicely ahead of the new season. The real test now comes up on Sunday as Arsenal do face Chelsea in the Florida Cup. After that, um, they will play Sevilla, I believe, in the Emirates Cup before playing Crystal Palace. So preseason is almost nearly over, um, and it doesn't, and it seems like it just started. Um, but yeah, uh, good good stuff there from Arsenal. Um, I have to say though that backline was very shaky um, against Orlando. It wasn't wasn't the best? Um, I have to say. Um, but look, we won the game. I think a few players we found out about, players like Pablo Maria and Nuno Tavares, probably shouldn't be playing for Arsenal. Um, but look, it is what it is. We still won. And a good outing for players like Jesus. Um, a good outing for players like Sambi Lukonga, who I thought played very well. So that's that. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below if you actually stayed up to watch that game or wherever in the world you're watching it from. Now, the next bit of news um, is about Josh Kroenke and Stan Kroenke. Now, they were in the stadium um, in the stadium against Orlando. Both Josh and Stan Kroenke were spotted. There is a video on social media. I couldn't find it in time for this video. However, um, a fan has uh, had, had some interactions with Josh Kroenke, which I want to quickly read out. I was in the box with Stan and Josh. I know we have a lot of feelings towards him, but Stan, he wants to win. He was talking about the Champions League. I told him, if you want to get us excited, want to get that connection back, get us Bellingham. Um, and um, Josh replied with, um, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. Um, apparently, he's really into it. So what we've gathered from that interaction, that rare interaction from our owners, is that um, they, they, seem that they seem as if they are ambitious um, and uh, they could be into the idea of Jude Bellingham. There's your transfer hint. So um, what I can gather is that uh, from what we've already spent, you know, we are now the Premier League top spenders. And I think we are going to end the window being the Premier League top spenders. So we are spending money and we are backing Mikel Arteta to the hill. Um, and we have done. We've ne Under Mikel Arteta, we've nearly spent half a billion pounds already, which is quite significant outlay for a manager who's never managed before. Um, who his only credibility at the club's winning the FA Cup, which Wenger did himself. So, what I'm gonna say is that um, you know, long may the investment continue, but if it all goes side up for Mikel Arteta next season, it could really come back to bite Arsenal as a whole for you know everyone behind Arteta for backing him that much, for giving him the ability to spend on whoever, whoever. So I think the next season is going to be massive for Mikel Arteta to to now he's got his own squad obviously he's got his own starting 11 he's got his own players pretty much so now it's going to be about can we now push on can we now try and um challenge the top two manchester city and liverpool and try and for 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 like we did so long ago um for so for so long cement our position in the champions league places and now we need to look to beyond because under wenger we were already qualifying for the champions league so it's about pushing on from that that is not the benchmark the benchmark 
is to push for Man City, Liverpool, challenge for the major honours and win the Cups. I think that has to be our major priorities um, in the next few years. And hopefully Mikel Arteta can deliver this. I'm still not convinced, obviously, as uh, long-time viewers of the channel may know. Um, but look, I'm always I'm always up for change. I hope Mikel Arteta proves me wrong. But this season is going to be massive for him. And the fact that the owners are with, have backed him, because these, these two have backed him. The owners have backed him. They've spent money. You know, in the last three years, we've spent more than anyone in Europe. We've spent a crap ton of money. Now it's just about doing it on the pitch, showing the results and in league position. But yeah, that's the news on that. And then moving on from that, I also want to talk about um, some of Mikel Arteta's quotes as well. Because um, there was a quote he did in a post-match press conference after being asked about... Um, uh, after being asked um, about the Zinchenko deal. So Arsenal manager Arteta on next steps out on the market after Zinchenko. We have to make some decisions on the players we're not going to be using consistently and be fair with them. That's a process that's going to start very soon. So it does look like departures are going to be imminent. Now, um, we heard news that Yuri Tielemans' deal could be dependent on a sale. Now, it could be said that that sale could be of Lucas Torreira. Now, um, on his Instagram stories, he was flirting with a move away or whatever. He's been doing that for many years. I'm not surprised. Um, but look, it look, if we do need to get rid of players, Pepe, Torreya, Bellerin, Marie, Leno, just on top of my head, those five players, um, and probably some others that I'm missing out as well. Um, but I feel like we need to get some of these players out the door because it's all well and good bringing all these players in, but we need to clear out the dead wood out so we can obviously facilitate the move for some of these players um, so we're not having overload in those positions. Um, so I do think... Uh, someone like Torreira to move out the door for a decent bit of money because he had a good loan spell with Fiorentina. Was it Fiorentina? I can't remember. I think it was. Um, but he did all right out there. Um, and I really do believe he could go to a good Italian team and perform at a good level. Um, whether someone like Jackie could leave looks very unlikely. He signed a deal last summer, obviously. Um, Pepe's got some interest from Leicester City, Sevilla, Roma, among some clubs. Um, but yeah, there's Pepe, nothing concrete with Pepe, and Newcastle apparently are looking at Pepe as well. Um, with Bellerin, Real Betis want him, two to three million pounds is what they're willing to pay for him. Hopefully, we um, that deal can also be done. Um, but look, hopefully, we can make some departures so we can sign players like um, Tielemans and obviously the winger that we are definitely going to sign this window. So I think two more major positions have to be sorted out. But Arteta also wants a left sided defender, so that could be three small signings we make in this window. but Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. Quite a bit left in the transfer window still. And, and let's just see what happens. But the last thing I want to talk about is Arthur Mello. Um, as there is a reported bid incoming from Arsenal. This is from Italian reports that are suggesting Arsenal are lining up a bid for Arthur Mello. Now, as you may remember, I did talk about it a few days ago as there were potential talks. Now, apparently, this could translate into a bid. Now, as much as I think trying to put two and two together, this could be... A step to try and um, force Leicester City to try and drive down the bid. It could be agent manipulation, whatever, to try and sign Yuri Tiedemans as he is the top top target for Arsenal this summer. Now, obviously, we proposed an 18-month loan with a buy option in January, which um, was accepted, but it didn't go through in the end for X, Y, Z reason. I'm not sure, um, but it looks like Arsenal are still interested in Arthur Mello. I would think that this is a potential alternative to Yuri Tiedemans if it doesn't happen and I, and I do think Yuri Tiedemans will be a late move because Arsenal have been working on it for a very long time Arsenal are interested in Yuri Tiedemans um, but I do believe it is a deal that will that will take a while to do and Arthur Mello will be the backer if that doesn't happen Juventus look like they do want to offload him um, and I think it looks like a loan they would be willing to let him go on a loan premise if that were to be the case um, for me, as I've said many times, if it was a if it was a choice between Arthur Mello and Yuri Tiedemans, I'd say Yuri Tiedemans because he's Premier League proven. He can play that position next to Thomas Partey as like a high eight. He can do that very well, and I do think Yuri Tiedemans right now on the market for the price he's available at is the best possible player we can get, and I would be very happy with that move. Um, but obviously it depends what well, what's going on to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's the news on Arthur Mello as a potential bid is being lined up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.